Welcome, I'm Meredith, and this is the Oasis Spiritual Empowerment Tarot, all about tarot, oracle, and empowering you. And today I'd like to do a VR, um, this is, this is a little bit older, but, I mean, is there an expiration on these things? Um, I don't know, but I do know that this is still relevant, because I see a lot of people asking questions about this. And so this is, uh... A VR to Lisa Papez for perfect pairs you know I, I see all the time people asking what might pair with this what might pair with that so I thought we'd kind of go over some of my favorite pairs now oh before I forget please like share and subscribe and hit that bell so you get alerted when I post new videos all right but now the first pair, um, both of these are fairly new to my collection. This is the Blue Deviant Tarot, which I am absolutely loving. So, most of the decks I'm going to be showing are, are decks that I'm really working with currently. Um, some, uh, so I tried to pull in some that, that are maybe classics that a lot of people have. Um, so with this, oh no, what's the name of it? So this is the, uh, dang it. The, so this is the Oracle that I've been using with it. Um, and somewhere I have, been, I think it's Spirits and Shadow. <laughs> Excuse my dog. Um, and I do not. I have complete loss of name. Oh, aha! Uh -huh. Spirits and Shadows. Um, and this is by J. Edward and Heather Neal. And I should say, Blue Deviant Tarot is by Leonard Jim Narciso. Um, and I am just really loving how these pair together. Art styles are very different and I will say with Blue Deviant we have a lot of different types of art styles anyway um, which I think is great like they just work so nicely together um, but yeah there's something really nice about this pairing and I just feel like I don't know. They just work well together. Um, <laughs> my dog is doing rollies all over. Um, so <laughs> if you hear strange sounds, that's what it is. But yeah, so I, I just love these together. Um, and again, this deck um, is really quite new to my collection, but I am loving it so much. And even the backs. Right? Don't they look nice together? I just, I don't know. There's something about them. Um, so, that is who has been going with Blue Deviant. Now, there's another deck that I really just got. I mean, talk about new. Um, that I've also been pairing with this deck. So that is the Baroque Tarot. Um, I literally have had this for maybe 48 hours, right? So not long, but it just feels really nice with the Oracle. Um, you know what I think it is? I feel like both of these decks are kind of half in, half out of this world, if that makes sense. And it's just just go together you know and um, yeah I really like the way they they feel and the way they read together and uh, yeah so I'm, I'm really enjoying it and again this is brand brand new to me but I mean it it's RWS it reads really clearly and easily and um, and it just works so well with this oracle. So, and 
Seriously, those packs are everything. Okay. Um, next. And, you know, what I, I do tend to um, use maybe a handful of oracles at a time. And I kind of move through them. And, and I do sort of um, just kind of throw everything together and see how it goes. Uh, so next we have the Oracle of Echoes. And this is by uh, Anatorian. And this is one, it goes with a lot of decks. But there are two that I've been using lately um, with it. And, and I really love the... Uh, the combination. So first, we have the Forest Creatures Tarot by Taroko Studio, and um, I really enjoy the way these pair together. Just something. I don't know. Energetically, I feel like there's a nice connection there. And the other deck, and this this may seem odd at first, but, but bear with me. So this is the Tarot of the She by Emily Carding. And there's just something that kind of clicks with all of them. Um, I wish I had a little more room, but there's just, I think it's, it's an energy here that I feel like they're on the same wavelength, you know? And the art styles are very, very different, but to me, they just, they just work well together. And, um, man, I'm really enjoying using these together. So, they just, they just feel nice together. You know? And look at that. It's fabulous. So, um, <laughs> you know, some people really want to keep the exact same aesthetic or the same art style when they when they uh, pair their decks. Sometimes I like that, but that's really it's not a um, it's not a priority to me. It. It's more important to me, I think, that there's an energetic balance or, or some kind of complement. And I feel like that's what I get with those three decks. Um, and I think they're pretty together too. But more important to me is, is that they just feel right together. So... Next pairing, we have Spirit Keeper's Tarot. Now, this is the Revelation Edition, and of course, it is by Benabel Wen. So, I'm only going to plot some because I love this deck so much. And the deck that I've been pairing with it is an Unfoldment of Consciousness, and this is by. Focus. Maya Atten, I think. I hope. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Um, but I think aesthetically, they're absolutely beautiful together. But also, you know, this is such an amazing deck. 
it's a very thoughtful, very cerebral type of deck. Um, and it's not to say that I don't use it intuitively, because I absolutely do. But there's also a lot to think about and consider with this deck. And so I feel like it's just nice to have another deck that's that's just very um, it's much more emotion with this deck you know and uh, it's a beautiful compliment I just feel like they balance each other so so nicely and I think they look amazing together too um, but yeah, I feel like when I when I use these two together, it just kind of pings every part of my brain. You know what I mean? And um, wonderful for readings. It's just very, um, very deep, very clear readings. And um, I really, yeah, this is this is one of my favorite pairings. I would say. Um, and, and some I change up, you know, I'll, I'll use a, a couple for a while and then I'll switch it up because, you know, I get bored. Um, <laughs> I like change. This is one that I really haven't changed. I might add another deck to it, but sometimes I'll use Spirit Keepers by itself and sometimes I will use the Enfoldment by itself, but if I'm pairing this, I'm pairing it with that. You know, so, um, yeah, I really just, I just think it's a perfect, perfect pairing. And, uh, they're both incredible decks. So, and next. So next, we have one of my favorite tarot decks <laughs> that I constantly mispronounce. And I'm so sorry, but this is by Charlotte Mew. Mew, Charlotte Mew. Loyal Delame Tarot. So now this deck I've had for some time. And, uh, I mean, it's, it's so beautiful and wonderful. And the deck that I've been pairing with, um, I did very, very recently receive. Um, and in fact, I have an unboxing. Um, if you want, I can, I can link below. But this is the Heart's Eye Oracle. And I think, like, during the unboxing, I thought of this pairing. And I am absolutely in love with it. And um, I have to say thanks to No Thanks, who pointed out that Lol Dilem means um, I have the soul. So basically, here we have two eyes I have the heart, and I have the soul. Like, how perfect is that? Um, you know, and they're different creators, but it just, yeah, that kind of thing just makes me insanely happy when, when things just sort of work out like that. And I just think they're perfect together. I mean, look how beautiful they are together. And, uh, I, you know, in terms of readings, I feel like there's such a wonderful flow. And they just read so perfectly and so beautifully together. I, this is, even though this is very new, this is one of my favorite pairings too. Because it's just, it's so perfect. It's like I couldn't, I couldn't have designed a more perfect pairing. You know what I mean? It's just absolutely fabulous together. So... I just, I just really love them together. Oh, look at that. 
So. It's another one that's just an absolute favorite. And, I mean, look, I change my mind about stuff all the time. But, I feel like these are always going to be paired together. You know what I mean? Alright. Next. This is another... Well, both of these are, are um, favorites of mine. So we have the Curious Travels Tarot. And this is by Arazir. <clears throat> and this I pair with Morning Come Oracle and this is by uh, C.O. Kelleher I her? I'm so sorry. <clears throat> but these decks are absolutely incredible together. There's just, aesthetically, I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And again, there's this wonderful flow, flow of, of energy, flow of information. Um, and this is a pairing that just absolutely, um, each deck enhances the other. And I feel like, and I, I will use each of these on their own too, but I feel like when I pair these, it's just a deeper, more powerful reading. Um, yeah. And I just, I just think they're exquisite together. And I think they're both kind of exquisite anyway. But just there's something so special about this pairing. And I really, oh, I mean, love it. Absolutely love it. Love both decks. Um so much. And, uh, you know, I, I mean, I might, you know, change things up at some point, but usually when I do that, I just kind of add another deck rather than take away. You know, like this is a pair I feel like are always going to be a perfect pair. Now, at some point I might, you know, add another deck to the mix. But those two, I think, will always be together for me. Alright. So next, we have Oak, Ash, and Thorn by Stephanie Burrows and Adam Bullers. Now this deck um, is so lovely and a lot of people have it a lot of people are familiar with it and one of my favorite pairings is actually with another tarot deck because um, I do I I mix tarot tarot oracle oracle tarot oracle doesn't matter I just throw them all together because that's how I roll but uh, I love it with Lily White and it's by Celia Millsville. Um, now this, this is the, the tiny edition. <clears throat> sometimes I use the larger size, sometimes I use the small size. It just depends. Um, really depends on the room that I have for the most part. But this may seem like an odd pairing just because of the different art styles, but both decks give me that, that feeling of comfort um, of gentleness and I think they're really really nice together um, let me kind of get them closer the other deck that I've been using 
with these. Is well there's there's two. So first, this deck, um, it's almost kind of unfair to include it because I use this deck with everything. This is Roots and Wings Oracle, and it's by Kat Rails. Rails? Um, and it it absolutely does go with everything. But it's so perfect with these as well. Um, so I really, I really like it. And again, I, this is, this is, out of all my decks, Tarot and Oracle, this probably gets the most use only because I, I use it with almost everything, honestly. Um, there's never, this deck has never met another deck it can't get along with. I mean, truly. It's, it's really amazing like that. Then, I do also like to add the Earthbound Oracle. And this is by A.L. Schwartz. And it's uh, Skull Garden. Is there... So, I mean, it's kind of... Let's kind of put them over here. Well, I'm trying to fit everybody. But, um, let's do this, maybe. I gotta figure out a good system to, um, be able to fit more on this screen without, you know, without, um, losing some of the images. But, there's something so nice about this grouping um they just feel really nice together um and i'm always i like to add a lot of decks together i have a lot of decks and i like to be able to use a lot of decks um so i do just kind of throw things together and see and i'm just really in love with with how they go together. I just think it's a it's a perfect pairing, even though there's four decks. But, um, yeah, I just think they're lovely together. Okay. So, um, oh, and I have one more deck that um, that I've been pairing with one of the oracles. So I will show you that. Um, well, actually, I pair it with both of them. So I might as well leave them out. Because again, <laughs> Roots and Wings goes with everything. Uh, I feel like that should be their catchphrase. Um, so I will leave these right here. And bring out the star tarot. Now, these are, are very, very different art styles, but it, you know what it is? There's so much in the star tarot. It's a great deck. I love this deck. It's one of my favorite mass markets. But there's so much. There's so much to think about and to feel. Right? Because this deck, to me, hits both. But then, when I use these oracles with it, it's like there's a, um, almost like a relief. Like a, a coolness that kicks in. Um, a bit of soothing grounding, right? Both of these are very, very grounding decks. This one is like, to me, it's a highly charged deck. Right? And, um, and it's wonderful, and I love it, don't get me wrong. But there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of charge there. And so I feel like these balance it. Um, and just, I don't know, it, it, it helps... just helps create that balance and I think they read wonderfully together 
and um, yeah, I just, I really love them together. So, and this is such a, such a great deck. And I tend to use this primarily with clients. Um, and I, I will use the three of these together. Sometimes I'll use just these two. Sometimes I'll use these two. Um, but it just, it just reads so beautifully together. So, and dang if I know who did the Star Tarot. And I should know. And I, you know, it came in a huge box. And the problem with that is I don't like huge boxes. So I got rid of the box. And there is a book. I don't know where that is either. So I apologize. Um, I will put... I will uh, put the creator in the description. Um, so I'm so sorry. I don't, I don't even know who it is. And it's probably somebody that everybody knows. And, <laughs> you know, I'm really terrible with names. I... You know, I just kind of am. I don't mean to be. But I also probably don't mean not to be, if you know what I mean. Because if it was super important, I guess I would make it happen. But, alright, the next grouping, because it's more than one, or more than two. Um, I'm going to start off with Woodland... Woodland Wardens, and this is by Jessica Rowe. Now, I bought this deck for the specific purpose of pairing it with a tarot deck, which I've never done. I never, you know, that's not, um, it's never been something I even really thought about, um, in, in terms of considering, you know, whether or not to buy a deck. But I wanted it to go with Druidcraft. And this is this is like a workhouse deck for me. This is a deck that I use a lot in client readings. And I don't even remember. This is so silly. I know I was looking on Facebook and people were talking about this deck. And I honestly have no idea if it was me or someone else who suggested that it would pair well with Druidcraft. And as soon as whatever that got through to me, I was like, yes. So I so I bought it. Um, I am going to trim it 100%. I just haven't gotten there yet. And then I think it'll go even better, be almost exactly the same size. Um, but I love these together. I just think they look and feel so nice. I'm trying to get them to about the same height. Okay. Um, and along with these, oh, how beautiful is that? Along with these, I have added another deck. Now this is a deck that really had been kind of languishing in my collection. And when I did my Oracle deck collection videos, um, when I was showing this, it occurred to me that this deck would be great with these. So this is Botanical Inspirations by Lynn Arojo, maybe? Um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful deck. And it just, like, it's just so nice with the other two. And so finally, <laughs> I'm using this deck. Um, where, you know, when I first got it, I'm sure I used it a bit, but not, not that much. But now, it just feels so nice with the others. And, you know, they're all earthy, and but I feel like it adds... A nice perspective and I also feel like the two of these together with Druid craft kind of lend um, maybe a bit of, of lightness because sometimes Druid craft can be uh, 
dark. I don't mean dark in a way like, oh, that's some dark stuff. I don't mean like that. Um, but it's just, um, it's, it's physically a darker deck, you know? But it's more than that, too. It's, um... I'm trying to think of how to explain it. I think it's an energetic thing. I don't know, but it it just feels like it needs um, something to kind of lighten and, and brighten a little bit. Now, I will say there's another deck that I like to add to the mix, which is Roots and Wings, because, I mean, come on. It's so nice with them. Um, I pretty much always have roots of wing, roots and wings with me. So it depends on how I feel. So I may start doing a reading with, say, these three. And then I may or may not add this in. It just kind of depends. Um, and that's, that's kind of how I read, you know. It, if I feel like something needs to be used or, you know, I'll just grab it. So it's one of the reasons why I pack probably a little heavier than a lot of people when I do um, events or, or, you know, um, on-site readings because I like to have a lot of options. I mean, look, the reality is I could do everything with one deck and be done, and I did for decades. But I really enjoy having options and, and having other things, because partly because I just really enjoy the, the different art and, and the feelings that I get from different decks. Um, part of it is just, it's just fun, you know? <laughs> I mean, it's just fun, you know, so, yeah, I, uh, yeah, sometimes, sometimes I will put together, like, four and five tarot decks, just because, so those are usually readings for me, not for other people, but I just, I just like to kind of stretch out with my decks, if that makes any sense. Alright, so next, we have... Return to Catland and Catland. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pull out one just for um, just to make it you know a little simpler. So this is fairly new. Um, I recently got it from the Kickstarter, and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that because this deck is one of Joanna Nelson's beautiful decks that I probably pair it with another one of her beautiful decks. And you're not wrong. Love it with Mons Tarot. But, and, and you may have to kind of bear with me for this, um, I really enjoy both of these with the Vivid Spirit Tarot. And this is by Dark Sinever. Um, this, what's going on? So this deck, wow, this deck got crazy. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> it's like a mix mash. All right, let's just. So this may seem like a kind of weird pairing, and you wouldn't necessarily be wrong, but there's just something about it. And this is a deck that can feel a little, a little darker, a little heavier. Um, and so these are a wonderful complement to it. There's, you know, they help create a really nice balance. Um, and I just really love them together. There's just something, something really nice about this combination. And, you know... The, uh, the beings in this deck are, are kind of, um, you know, otherworldly. 
and of course, I mean, maybe not as much the cat's foot, but definitely a monstero. We have that otherworldly feel. So even though the art styles are drastically different, um, there are there are some similarities, right? There are, there are some common bits, and uh, just really enjoy them together. I just feel like they're so they're just so right together as as weird as that may seem and you know there is that lovely blue again very very different but i don't know maybe maybe the blue has something to do with it too um but yeah and you know when i received monster which i i didn't get the original version i got um her other deck instead but so I didn't get it until until the smaller size came out I love this so much though can I tell you but once I got this deck I started using this deck a lot more so and it's not that I didn't like it or anything like that but um, I reached for it much less often but now with with Monstaro I just really like working with them together and of course, this pair is just perfectly. All right. So now this is another deck that's that's pretty new to my collection. So this is uh, Triomphe de la Luna Paradoxical Rose Illustrated Pips by Patrick Valenza, and I am really, really loving this deck. And I'm so tempted to get the uh, Aqua version. I just feel like they might look really nice but um yeah i'm so far so far i've been able to resist but i do kind of want the the regular version now too but be that as it may so i've been pairing this with the divas of creation and this is by um silicon white and I love these decks together, like so much I love them. And and this is one of my favorite, favorite oracles. Um, and I think, well first of all, just aesthetically, they I think they're amazing together. But much more than that, um, I think this deck tends to be, it tends to be a little heavy um, in terms of some of the imagery. It, I mean, it's quirky and fun too, but there's a there's a bit of a heaviness there. But it's also, I think, a deck that um, asks you to to use your conscious mind maybe a bit more, right? To to think about things a bit more. Whereas this, this is all feeling. And then the other thing is. The artwork in this deck is absolutely exquisite, right? There's, I mean, there's no question. But it's a dark place. Like, it's not a place that I really want to spend a lot of time, you know? Um, I think that it's a wonderful place to explore. But I don't want to... I don't want to go too deeply in there, if that makes sense. Whereas with this deck, I do. So I guess the way I read, I, I essentially, most of the time, I'm, I'm pretty much path working, right? I go deeply, deeply into the cards. It's just, it's just how I do it. Um, and, and pairing these allows me to go a little bit deeper than I think I would if it was just this deck. Um, yeah, and it's not, don't, don't get me wrong, I don't, I don't find this to be a dark deck. I, you know, not the way that people use the term, it's just, there's,
there's a chaos to me, I think, that lurks beneath the surface, or sometimes not even. Um, I'm not a chaos kind of person. You know, I, <laughs> you know, my, uh, my, uh, rising sign is Capricorn. And, uh, <laughs> maybe that's it. I don't know. But together, I think these give me exactly what I need. Now, I'll use this deck on its own. Don't get me wrong. But um, if I'm going to spend a good amount of time, uh, you know, if I want to spend a good amount of time and really kind of indulge myself and, and explore, I'm absolutely doing this pairing. So, um, that was really long-winded. I apologize. I <laughs> had not meant to, you know. You know, it's interesting because, you know, doing this forces me to articulate things that I normally just sort of feel and accept and don't really consider too often on a conscious level, you know, with that, um, with that logical mind. I just don't. All right. So next, this deck is... This is the, um, the Shadowscapes Tarot. This is, I want to say it's the Czechoslovakian version or, or Polish. I don't recall. Um, but it's by Stephanie Pumunla. Is that, is that her name? And uh, Barbara Moore. Um, now, I have the English version, but as most of you will know, it's very small. And I have to thank Lisa Papas for um, not even just showing this, but, but for providing the link. So I had heard about this larger edition, but um, I couldn't find any English sites from which to order it. Um, so that, that made me a little bit leery about, about trying to purchase it. But uh, she did provide a link and I will I will link that video below too in case you're interested because this is an amazing deck. But it's so much better in this larger form. I'm kind of tempted to trim the white but then I would lose that nice gilding. And I do like gilding. Alright, but anyway. What I've been pairing this with. And this is another um, pretty new to me deck. That I'm absolutely, absolutely in love with. It is uh, Loracle Saphir. It's a beautiful French deck. And it's just something really, really special about this pairing. And the artwork is, you know, couldn't be more different, right? But, um, I think, I think the colors tend to be very complimentary. And there's a wonderful, beautiful simplicity to this deck that is such a nice counterbalance to the details in this one, and this isn't, that's not like a slight, right? It's just, I mean, things can be more simple and still be incredibly powerful. But just, uh, I mean, I just think they're perfect together. I really, really enjoy this. And now this is a deck I used to really just use for me. Um, partly because it was kind of hard to to really get into the images because they were so small but now I think I'm going to start using it with clients and I will absolutely use this pairing I just they're just wonderful so I'm really really happy to have this I would <laughs> I'll tell you I would still like it to be bigger honestly I think if if they would just come out with like a huge like a really nice 
big size, I think they would make a ton of money because it's such a popular deck. And there's so many people that want even more. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you would be satisfied with the side, the size. Um, and I am. It's not that I'm not, but I would like it to be even bigger. But it's a fabulous, fabulous deck. And next, the next deck I pair with with this oracle as well. Here's a box in case you want. Oh, and this is by Chris Mel. Um, so this deck, uh, this is one that when I received it, I played with it a little bit and I kind of put it away. Then when I was doing my tarot collection videos, I pulled it out and I was actually, I had almost kind of written it off at that point. And as I pulled it out and started going through it, um, I just fell in love with it. So, I've been using the heck out of this deck, too. And this is the Sea Witch Tarot. And it is by Pentagram Publishing. The art is by Michelle Tarnapovich. Um, now, this deck is very... <clears throat> these might be plastic cards. They probably are. I don't know. But, but they move beautifully. And there is like a, I don't, these aren't plastic, but there's a lamination here. So just from a texture viewpoint, they're so nice together. But <clears throat> also, I don't know, they just, they just feel right together. I'm really, really enjoying using the two of these. And <clears throat> I do tend to, uh, You know, I, I will be enamored with um, usually a few different oracles at a time and kind of apply them everywhere. But, as I'm sure you're aware, some places just feel better than others. And this is one of those. I just think they're, they're really, really nice together. And, uh, and they're both, you know, a little bit smaller. And, I don't know. I, I just really like them together. Okay. And then I do have one more deck that, <laughs> again, I've been pairing with this. And absolutely loving it. And I will say, if there are any decks that um, you're curious about that, that I haven't shown, you're like, well, what would pair with this? What would pair with that? Let me know. I mean, I might not have it. I don't have every deck, but I have a lot of decks. Um, yeah, so, so let me know whether it's Oracle, Tarot, whatever. But so next is Ember and Aura. And again, this is a newer deck to me. And I'm absolutely in love with this deck. And I'm in love with this pairing. I just think... And I think this was the first deck I thought of in terms of, of uh, working with, with this oracle. They're just really nice together. Um, and again, very, very different art styles. But energetically, there's something going on that's right. Um... Yeah, I just, I just love these together. And, uh, you know, it doesn't hurt that I absolutely love both of these decks. But sometimes what I've noticed is when I do have that combination that's really great, even if one of the decks or even both of the decks, even if they're not maybe favorites of mine, they can become my favorites because of how wonderfully they pair. Um, so let me know. Is, is that just me? Or does anybody else experience that? Um, 
but I, yeah, I've absolutely had that happen, and, um, yeah, I really, I just love these together. So, I think that will do it, um, you know, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and let me know, again, if there are any, if you, you know, if you look through my tarot deck collection videos, my oracle deck collection videos, it'll show you what I have. There are, I think, a couple decks that I missed in both cases, but by and large, um, I do list all the all the decks in the descriptions, so you don't necessarily have to watch the whole thing unless you want to. But yeah, if there's anything you see that you would like to see paired up, um, just let me know. How beautiful is this, though? Uh, just let me know, and I'm happy to do it. And uh, until next time, be wonderful to yourself because you deserve it. You deserve the best, only the best. And that is my wish for you.